movie and then it'll rewind and then do it again. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. And, um, so it's it's rewinding at about, I think, 200 frames a second, um, or approximately there, and it's, we have it playing, I think, at real time at 24 frames a second. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, what do you do? Um, I'm a director. Uh, from wh where? From what? Taiwan. Taiwan! Yeah. I love Taiwan. <laughs> my, my. Have you been there before? I've been there many times. Yeah, uh, my name card. Here, here. I'm just putting my stuff together here. It is me. Um, Thanks. Not only, but yeah, I've stayed at by the 101. I've taken the oh. tra I've taken the train to the to the to the hot springs all the oh. way up to the end. It's pretty inconvenient. You can just the yeah. metro system is just pretty uh, pretty and pretty, and pretty I, awesome. Uh, yeah. But I love and probably my proudest. But let me just shut this closet. Hang on. <laughs> shut this closet. <laughs> I have a foster son who's from Taiwan. Ah, who um, it's amazing. It's like a Disney story. Who was kind of kind of abused by his by his stepdad, and um, <laughs> and he was a friend of my my daughter's, and mm. I mean he was severely abused by his dad. Yeah, and, and um, without getting into all the details, at age 15, <laughs> I had him move into my house and had him emancipated as a legal adult at age 15. Wow, in, in, in the Orange County courthouse in California, mm. he um. When he came to me, he had a Jeep grade point average of about 1.9 in school. When he when he graduated, he had a 3.9 grade point average. Yeah. He had a photographic memory. He was a very smart kid. Mm -hmm. He graduated as the captain of the California State Championship fo American football team. Wow. He went to Cal, Cal Poly, uh, San Luis Obispo mm -hmm. in engineering. And mm -hmm. um, he read his books in one week, photographic, literally photographic memory. Mm -hmm. He tutored other people in bio, physics, math, and chemistry. And when he graduated, he was going to be drafted into the National Football League. Mm -hmm. He was the only All-American on their team. He played for them. Yeah. He was the only All-American on their team, but he called me and he said, I've decided not to go into the draft. I said, why? He said, because today I was, I was admitted to UCLA Medical School. Yeah. And he went <laughs> to UCLA Medical School and they gave him a full scholarship so he didn't pay one penny. Mm -hmm. Now he's, an or, now he's an orthopedic surgeon. Yeah, pretty good. <laughs> my, my sweet little, my little son from tai, Taiwan. So that's yeah. that's my connection to Taiwan, nice brother. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Tell me about. Tell me about. Is it Kai or C A I? Kai. Okay. Well, um, I mean, like my Chinese name is like ah. Kai in the last name. Hold it. Hold it. I'm older than you. Yeah. <laughs> Although these are cool. By the way, they, look at. I have red, dark blue, light blue, black, white. It's dark green and light green and orange. These come off. They're cool glasses. Oh, cool. I, yeah, yeah, they're very cool. In fact, I think they're from somewhere in China. Let's say your name, Kaiyu Wang. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, I, and I got to tell you, man. Yeah. If I can, if I can be political, just because I don't care. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> to me, Taiwan's a country. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> I, I went we into believe it's a country. Hong Kong yeah, and Taiwan hopes. are countries to me, <laughs> and they always will be. Yeah, thanks. And I, I, I love Taiwan. And um, <laughs> I, I went in, I, um, I flew, I flew into China once. Mm. And I, I was going to, Beijing, to a uh, meeting. I, I haven't I taught, been I, there before. I taught a class at the Beijing Film Academy. Oh. And I, I, I was flying to China, mm -hmm. and, um, and they said on, on the plane, is there, in, uh, here, go, I think she wants to. Okay. Right. Want she wants to grab your QR code. Wait. Um, I flew in and they said, um, "Don't forget, have your visas out." And I go, "Wait, no, I, I, no, I wasn't going to China. I was going to Taiwan." I'm thinking, visa? I don't have a visa. <laughs> and, and I and, and, and I and, and I went in. So I went in. And I, I told the I told the lady. I said, "I may be in trouble because I don't have a visa. I only have a." Uh, I, I have a Chinese visa, but I don't have a Taiwan, a Taiwan visa. I said, I didn't think I need one, but if I did, I may be in trouble. She said, mm. she said, you're American. I said, yes. She said, you don't need a visa here. And she said, she was in a soldier's <laughs> uniform. She said, we're not China, we're Taiwan. And I said, yes. Yeah, uh, different places. It was, she was so cool. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, that's my political story. I, I, I love where you come from, brother. Yeah, thanks. So tell me what you do. Tell me what you guys do. Um, I mean, like, I'm still a little small studio and just kind of do all the stuff by myself. So, <laughs> I mean, like, pre-production to 
may the shooting process and like post production but sometimes if the budget is a little bit higher maybe i can uh, ask for some assistance help good for you okay. yeah god bless you man um it's um i have some very rich friends really rich for they own a company um in uh, indonesia and they called me and they said it's 10 years ago and they said we want to um buy our son a studio for his birthday present and wow. I, I said will you adopt me <laughs> <laughs> and, and so anyway uh, they said will you so i outfitted it it was he and his friend mm -hmm. it's like you just two of them. and 10 years ago they now have 200 employees they do uh movie production they do some, some uh, television uh they do a lot of vfx mm -hmm. and um and a lot of advertisements and they're they're kicking it. Yeah, they're, they're, definitely. They're chopping a lot of wood, <laughs> and um, and so will you. Yeah. So will you, and, and don't give up. Yeah, never give up. Good for you. Did you go to Did you go to film school, or uh, or how did you get into this? Kind thing? of like just in interest. Yeah. Just for fun, but well, good for you. Just keep going. Maybe like over ten years. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm just maybe find some jobs. Maybe some need someone need. Maybe like shoot a video, yep. that kind of stuff. And start you start yeah. with that. that's how it starts. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's how it starts. Um, my nephew is like you. He lives in Maine, north mm -hmm. of Boston, and um, he, he's uh, and he sells real estate. But he majored in film in in, in, in college, and he um, he actually wrote, produced, and directed a, a, an independent film, mm -hmm. which has gone nowhere. But um, he's been doing a lot of. Um, Weddings and, 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 and shorter videos. He no. sells real estate with really cool videos of himself. He's become the number one realtor in the state of Maine using videos, mm -hmm. using videos with, with humor. Yeah. And, and, um, and because of those video, real estate videos, he was called by Honda mm -hmm. to do a national commercial. Wow. It was a $100,000 contract. Wow. And <laughs> it works. Just keep doing it. You just keep, mean like, keep doing it. Here, do, do this. You don't need a great product. You need a good product. Uh -huh. And you need to treat people like family. That's the whole key to business. That's it. Yeah. If you have a great product, that's, that's even better. But you don't need to be great. You just need to be good. But treat people amazingly well. Amazingly well, because most people don't. That's, sure. all, that's all you need to do. I've been, I've been doing this for so long. I've taught yeah. business classes. And I swear, it's a simple formula that most people don't follow. Most people don't treat people Just great. Be nice. Be really kind. Yeah. And, and, and when something, and, and the other thing my grandfather told me, he was an advertising guy, and he's right. He said, when something goes wrong, the first person you call is your customer. When something goes wrong with it, when something goes right, it doesn't matter. You don't have to call. Mm. When something goes wrong, never hide, never, never be afraid. Immediately pick up the phone and say, this went wrong. This is what we're doing to solve it. Yeah, and they will the trust problem. you. They will trust you and they will stay with you. So those, those three things. Yeah. Good product. Treat your customers really great. And the first person you call immediately when something goes wrong, you don't hide because everybody else hides. Yeah. <laughs> call, you, you, you're doing something for me. You call me immediately and say, Steve, this thing got really screwed up. And I, and I, I, I broke it. I don't know what I, well, I, I actually, I do know what I did. And I screwed up and I'm sorry. But here's what we're gonna we're gonna be on track again by tomorrow afternoon and here's how. And I go, okay, thanks for calling. And I trust you. No. That's that, that's those, those three things I think are the key to doing successful business and growing your company. Sure. That's my opinion. Yeah, I think I'm kind of an old guy. <laughs> <laughs> but pretty good advice. I I, I, I I think it is. And um and I do believe it doesn't matter. I I've flown four million air miles. I've been in almost every country in the world, mm -hmm. and people are the same everywhere. Gover governments are broken everywhere, <laughs> and people. Ninety-nine point nine percent of the people are good people, and they're the same everywhere. That also means they also act the same everywhere. And, and I just, I think most people hide when things go bad, which is the opposite of what you're supposed to nah, do. I, I most people ignore ignore emails and ignore phone calls. Don't be responsive, and you'll be fine. Yeah. I can tell she's talking to you. I, 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 I like your I like your personality. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> um, good, good, good. Have, do you have how many projects? How long you, has your how old is your company now? Maybe like five years, but actually I do it 
maybe over 10 years. I started. Been, okay, doing the work. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I want to hear about it, man. Um, uh, you have my card. If you if, if if you've got if you've got some uh, I don't know some videos or or, yeah, just, or just some cool stuff. Show you. Yeah, yeah, this is my YouTube channel. So you, uh, uh, okay, cool. <laughs> I'll, I'll 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 go to it. But most what of the standing on here? most <laughs> most of those videos are some kind of like um, just video equipment stuff, but. Uh, not my showcase, that kind of stuff. Okay, cool. Yeah, nice to meet you. Nice to meet I'm you too, guy. <laughs> Take care. Have some it's fun. A pleasure. And, yeah. pleasure. My pleasure. Yeah. yeah. And I'll tell you, I'll keep your card. If I get next time we get to Taiwan, before I go, yeah. I'll call and tell you, and I'll, sure. come, I'll come see your place. Definitely. All right. Yeah. Take care. You too.